I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a flower, but it is also how to use crayons. I'm going to come over on the left, on the top, right about here and put a dot. Come down, one finger, on the left, bottom, put a dot. On the right, one finger, put a dot. And up here, on the right top, put a dot. Now, from every dot, I'm going to draw a wavy, 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 wavy line. They line up great. If they don't, it's not going to be that far off. Wavy line down. Wavy line over. Wavy line up. Okay? Then, at each corner, I'm going to draw another wavy line out. Wavy line out. Right to that corner. On the left, wavy line out. Wavy line out. And basically, what we've done is made a frame. Inside each part, I'm going to draw one, two, three, four, five baby circles. Some of you might draw more. One, two, three, four, five baby circles. Jump over. One, two, three, four, five baby circles, and down at the bottom, one, two, three, four, five baby circles. So this is my frame. I come right here in the center and I put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a slightly wavy line into a circle. Starting over here on the center, I just draw a wavy line up, over, down, connect. And I'm going to build on that wavy line out, in, keep going, out, in, jump over to the left, wavy line out, in, keep going, wavy line out, in, and let's put one more out in connect. Now on each part of this circle I'm going to put two straight lines inside each one of my spaces. Then I come over here on the right and I'm going to draw a curved line up, down, connect. I'm going to put a curved line in the center and go one, two, three little curved lines. Come down to this section, draw a curved line up, out, in, connect, draw a middle line, curved line, one, two, one, curved lines, connect. Now I come right here and starting about this section I draw a straight line down. Keep going until you crash into something like I do here jump over and draw your line. Start at the top, straight line, jump over, straight line, continue, straight line, jump over, straight line, continue, straight line, jump over, straight line, continue. Okay, now let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, with this project, I am going to use the crayon colors that you usually get in a box of crayons at the beginning of the school year. So in the middle I'm going to use yellow and then I'm going to color all of my spaces around the yellow red. Now, the reason why I decided to do this project was because at the beginning of the year everybody has crayons and by the end of the year people are stealing crayons because they've lost their crayons. You need to keep your crayons in order. They're the best art material you can use to get color. There's my red. 
and you can get a lot of variations from using dark and light and putting different colors next to each other for contrast and it's something that you can do at home very easily just keep your crayons all together so we've got red yellow green um, I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna start doing a pattern with my baby circles with purple all the way around keep going looks like it's an ABAB pattern but you can do any pattern you want the main emphasis is showing you how you can use every color in your coloring kit and come up with something that looks unique so that was purple or violet this is my orange all the way around and just because your crayon breaks doesn't mean you throw it away just because your paper runs out just peel it down I've had people not know that you can peel your paper down for more crayon so take care of your crayons okay now I'm going to come back in and I'm going to use my blue and I'm going to color my background now the other thing is is that even if your crayon is teeny tiny and looks like it's almost gone it still can be used so when you look at my supplies at the beginning of the videos you'll notice that I've got skinny crayons I have fat crayons I have crayons that have no points and yet I still use them to make my art okay now I'm going to use the same blue and do the top frame part of my picture and I'm using a loop-de-loop -loop line because I don't want to hurt my hand but you will do a way better job than I am I'm going to come down and do the bottom part too keep going now the other thing about this project is it is a total right brain project in other words you can color this in and not think about anything except coloring sometimes that's the best kind of art to do you don't do it for a project school project homework you just do it because you're exercising your right brain so that's the other reason for doing this project get yourself creatively going okay let's see what this looks like all colored in okay here is my crayon colored in flower all colored in right brain activity just being creative with my new colors of cramps okay bye bye